all the little bits and bobs. Your house got destroyed, Emily. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Our bed. So sad. Yeah. That's the outline. So the Tempest is a play I've wanted to direct for a long time, um, but it's hard to pull off on stage because of all the magic. Uh, so, so there was this weird. I think what started as like a really negative thing with the pandemic. Um, there was this weird sort of series of things that, that happened where I was like, oh, this would be perfect. So the pandemic happened, we couldn't be doing theater on stage. If we were gonna do anything, it had to be outside. Um, so the Tempest came up, because the whole thing is takes place on an island. And you really can't have a set because it needs to travel so much. And then, you know, I reached out to Adrian, my producer, and I was like, hey, how in would you be on this? And then I thought, well, there's too many male roles. And then I was like, oh, but I've always wanted to make Prospero a woman. And so what if we went with that? We went with that. So it was kind of the, it was sort of this original idea. It was like, if we're going to do anything, it has to be this. Um, but then um, it just got cooler as the idea went on because it was like, and we could do it all on film. And, we, and everybody thought it was crazy. It was like, how are, you, how are we even going to shoot this? And I was like, I don't know, but it's a cool idea. Let's try it. Naturally, there were a lot of difficulties in just uh, getting a, a students who had not had an experience working on an environment like this and on a project like this to put together a full feature production. Uh, I think taking uh, what I know and what Mr. Marshall knows from his experience in filmmaking, trying to make it work into very short days with not a ton of uh, people in the crew and not a ton of equipment but a lot of really talented actors a great script that was adapted by Chris and I and uh, I think that the hardest thing for me was being so far away from the process as it was happening uh, just being in LA not being able to be on set with you guys uh, even though I was sending the materials for what we needed to get done every day uh, but it was all made easy by just how well everybody worked together and how openly we were communicating. And any time that we had a hiccup or something that was unexpected to happen, we were able to jump the hurdle pretty quickly and uh, you know come together even across the coasts and uh, problem solve on their feet, which was great. It was so different for me because the night before a performance, I'm, I always get the jitters. I'm like really excited. And I got that before the Tempest premiere, but I had no impact on like what was going to play on that screen. So it was just like very weird for me. So I, I very, I like preparing something and then performing it and like, then it's done. I think I'm, I'm with you. I like like preparing it and yeah. then like doing it for an audience. I don't know. I liked, I liked this process. I liked the film process. It's definitely more difficult, I think. Really. Yeah, it was just like a new experience. It was like, there was definitely a lot of like road bumps along the way, like on our side and on Marshall's side and on Mr. Cook's side. So it was definitely like a learning curve for everyone. Yeah. But I like the product that came out of this because we can keep this forever and watch it back in 20 years. And you know, the play, it's like, when it's done, it's done pretty much. So I, I appreciate that we had this opportunity because it's something to keep. I'd agree with that. I'm really thankful to have this opportunity, especially during COVID and this entire year, to create something so unique and especially, especially so different for all of us. And I was really happy to have this opportunity, but I'm really excited for next year to get back to the stage. We knew from the beginning that for this to be possible, we would have to work together and communicate in order to keep each other safe on set and then off set as well. Like it was all of our responsibility to make sure that we're being safe. Um, not just when we're filming, but you know, during the week at school, um, in order for any of this to be possible. Ooh, okay, so I, at the beginning of the process, I was excited and I was also a little bit overwhelmed because I knew that I was gonna have like three or four titles like of things that I had to do. Um, I knew that it would go well because obviously like everything that we've done as a department um, is successful and everything with Marshall is always successful, but I didn't expect for it to be like, as professional as it was. Like I thought it was gonna be like a successful high school film. Um, 
and I, I, there's, I had, had no expectation of it really like looking like a feature film for sure. It was definitely a lot more of like day of running point kind of things on film versus um, AD for a show is a lot of more research and background kind of being in the back kind of stuff. Um, I really liked film. Like I thought it was so fun and I loved, uh, I loved getting to like call the shots, you know, like it was just really cool. Um, so I, I think I would say I prefer film almost. I love them both in their own ways, but I've had a lot of fun this year, so.